Amen and amen. Good morning again, everyone. And thank you for joining this morning with God's strength for today. The Bible says in Lamentations 3, I want us to start from the book of Lamentations this morning. Lamentations 3, 22 to 23. It says, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I want us to rejoice in the faithfulness of our God. The Bible makes it very clear that it's not because of anything that we've done that we are alive and well. It's just through the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Can we please unmute? And before you unmute, please, verse 24 says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. It doesn't matter what it looks like this morning. And it doesn't matter what is working or what is not working. We just know that our hope is consistently in the Lord. So I want us to unmute and rejoice in the Lord. Father, we Hallelujah. thank you for your mercies that I need every Father, morning. We are blessed, O God Almighty. We worship and we worship your holy name. 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 Amen and amen. Thank you so much for praying. Um, in the same Lamentations, in the same book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 37 says, Who is he who speaks? And it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. I want you to declare boldly this morning that over your household, over your children, or concerning anything and everything that has to do with you, only the counsel of the Lord will stand. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand. I want us to take that up as a bold declaration this morning and say concerning our household, over all our children. And it's not a case of, oh, we have six children, oh, five, I thank God five of them are doing well. All of them will do well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because only the counsel of the Lord will stand. Can I ask you to unmute and let's declare boldly this morning. Over your body, only the counsel of the Lord will stand. Father, we thank you. Only your counsel will stand. God Almighty, Father, we come in the church. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand. We declare boldly this morning. I am the 
Oh, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So we know there are so many evil counsels out there, especially concerning children. All sorts of nonsense have been, have been released and all sorts of things are being granted and all that, you know. But the Bible says, and I still want you to stay on this point, I want you to declare it until your own faith arises. You know, there's something about your own faith arises to say, yes, this is my truth. Yes, I'm going to hold on to this. Yes, this is how it's going to pan out in my own life. Everybody has that power to decide, to say, mm -mm, this is what the Lord has said. The Bible says you will decide and decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. So it means that there are so many options, but you look and you say in our own household, over my own children, do you understand? These are the things that are allowed and these are the things that are not allowed. And the Bible says, whatever you allow on earth is allowed in heaven and whatever you disallowed on earth is disallowed in heaven. So I want us to look at that same scripture again in another, in another book of the Bible. So Psalm 33, Psalm 33 verse nine says, for he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. So it really doesn't matter all the nonsense they're saying they want to do to children and all the nonsense the enemy is, is throwing out there, you know, and we, we have to be very vigilant nowadays. Um, I don't know if you've seen the the little, the video clip that is trending about Disney, that they just released a cartoon where a teenage girl has been impregnated by Satan. And I don't know if anybody heard about Target Store that also released um, the LGBTQ line for little children and even released a t-shirt with Baphomet's head that says, Satan respects pronouns. So now this is even beyond people that are just a bit mentally challenged. This is now satanic worship being brought into the open. And they're saying, you know what? Let your children choose. They, they, um, some of them are getting up to say, the Bible is a vulgar book and they don't want it even in the libraries of their schools. And all this mm -hmm. nonsense has been said. But one thing I know is that the counsel of the Lord will stand. And if people are, are making decisions not to have children, they will not get up to come and destroy our children. So we're going to rise up and speak out. And you know, we're going to cry, as we're saying it to the Lord, we're also saying it to ourselves to say, this is my portion. The Lord is my portion. And it's not only about that. There's so many evil counsels out there. And so many things are trying to snatch children from even from, 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 from the young age. And we're saying no to those things. So it says, um, for he spoke and it was done. He commanded and he stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. It makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. We're setting in place generational. You know, I, I have not just been praying for my children that I've seen with my eyes. I'm praying for my generations to come, that they will be dedicated to the almighty God. I will not have a candidate in hell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even when I'm old and I'm gone, if the Lord tarries, all my generations to come will serve the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And thank God that prayer is something that we can send to the future. You know, it's a vehicle with unlimited mileage. 
they won't say, ah, no, 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 no. You've exhausted your own mileage. You can't continue to pray. We will continue to pray. And you know, it, it doesn't lose value like all these things. It doesn't follow the market trends and it doesn't change. So this morning, I want you to please come with me to Psalm 33, verse nine. And you're going to speak with your own mouth and say in the lives of your children, only the things that the Lord has commanded will stand fast in the name of Jesus Christ. Only the things that have been written concerning them in, 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 in God's handbook, those are the things that will come to pass. Only the blueprint of the Lord concerning them. You know, I believe this is just me and my imagination. I that everybody's got a canvas in heaven and on that canvas you know the maker has already drawn out the days that are pointed to you and all that and i'm saying nothing will take our children out of his hands our children will not go off on a tangent ask you to please unmute let's declare boldly together Father, we just want to thank you. This is your word, God. Father, the Bible says that you will have your command and your strictly. the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus name we have prayed thank you so much for praying thank you so much please let's go to Isaiah 54 Isaiah 54 and if you've got your Bible that would be wonderful because you know this is called creative words and we we'll declare the words of God over the lives of our children Isaiah 54 from verse 10 it says for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed but my kindness shall not depart from you amen God's loving kindness will not depart from our children in Jesus' name. It says, nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has mercy on you. We're coming in today on the strength of God's mercy. We're coming in today understanding the depth of God's mercy. And we are declaring that God's covenant of peace will not be removed from our children. I want you to please uh, take that um, the two verses of scripture sorry, it's only one verse of scripture and, and begin to declare it that this is, the, this is the portion of your family. The mountains shall depart and the hills be removed. His kindness shall not depart from me and my household and his covenant of peace shall not be removed from us in Jesus' name. His covenant of peace shall not be removed from our children. Can I ask you to unmute? Let's declare it together. Father, Lord, we just want to thank you. Thank you. 
name we have prayed thank you so much for praying i want you to please come down in that same isaiah 54 13 to 15 it says all your children all of them it says all your children shall be taught by the lord and great shall be the peace of your children in righteousness you shall be established this morning i want us to declare without fear uh, without reservation that in righteousness our children shall be established they shall be far from any and every kind of oppression for they shall not fear and from terror for it shall not come near them indeed they shall surely assemble but not because of our god and whoever assembles against our children shall fall for their sake in the mighty name of jesus christ and then i want us to jump to verse 17 it says no weapon no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me. I want you to begin to condemn every lying tongue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything that wants to destroy destinies. And, and you know, you will know uh, things in your, own, in, the, in your own family. Maybe there are like private afflictions and all that. This is the time to cast them down. This is the time to say no to all the lies of the Satan, uh, all, all the lies of Satan concerning your, your family. This is the time to speak out boldly against everything that does not have its root in God. Every tree that the Lord has not planted in the ways and in the lives of our children, we are commanding them to dry from the root in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your word, O oh God. Father, Lord, we give you praise thank because you, your words to all our children shall be taught by you and we shall be taught of our children. You have said your covenant of peace shall not be renewed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Secretary, and the 
I want us to come against apostates in the life of our children. We are saying none of them will be deceived in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to cry out and say, no, 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 no. Our children will not be deceived. They will not be taken away from the Lord. Um, 1 Timothy 4, 1 says, the spirit clearly says that in latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. No, our children will not be deceived. They will not follow things taught by demons. I want us to cry and say, Lord God Almighty, not in our corner, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ not in our household, not for, not, not for generations to come. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, our children will not follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we cry out this morning. We say, Lord, we're to say, Lord, we're I still want us to look at that first Timothy four. Now I'm going to read verse two. Let me read the two two verses together. It says, Now the spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of, of, of demons. Another version says, things taught by demons. Verse two says, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their own hands seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and, and know the truth. We can see all sorts of things that are coming out. I want you to cry out and say, this is not going to thrive in my own corner. It's not going to thrive in the lives of my children. They will not follow this deceiving spirit. They will not follow the, they will not follow the doctrines of demons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not be mutilated. They will not be destroyed. Their, their, their destinies will not be jettisoned by the enemy. The, the wicked gods of this world that do not create our children cannot have them. They cannot live in and through them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please cry out to the Lord to say your children will be responsive to the Holy Ghost. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your children follow the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> so much for praying we are going to declare what is written in first timothy 4 the same chapter verse 12 it says let no one despise your youth but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. We're going to take these words back to the Lord today and say, Lord, all our children will be an example to the other believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. No spirit of depravity will take our children away from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I ask you to please unmute and declare this word? And you know what? It will be good for you to have your Bible so you can see what I'm reading. Father, Lord, yes. we declare. by the power of the Holy Spirit, children 
in the mighty name of Jesus. From Nazareth, my grandchildren, my grandchildren, my shall not be despised because of their sheep. In the name of mighty name, shall not be despised by the God of the name of Jesus. They are youth in the name of Christ, but they have been in the name of Jesus. So, my mother, in the name of you, in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not Jesus mighty name we are prayed Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Now, because they're following the Lord does not mean that they'll be small and irrelevant in their generation. No, no, no. That's not what we're saying. They will blaze forth with the glory of God. They will walk in the authority and the dominion of this everlasting God. They will show forth that God is sovereign and that his sovereignty is to our advantage. Us to Revelation 5. Let's go to Revelation 5. Revelation says uh, 5. I, I want to read from the B part of verse 9 down to 10. So the B part of verse 9 says, And I've redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and I've made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. You are going to decree that yes, your children will stand for the Lord, but it doesn't mean that they'll be the scum of the earth. No, 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 no. They are not going to be doormats unto the children of the devil. No, they will reign on the earth. The Lord says he has made us kings and priests of our God. We will reign in our righteousness. We will reign because we carry the authority and the dominion of our God. The Bible says by the reason of his power, the enemies will submit themselves to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to say, Lord God Almighty, because you have redeemed my children, you know, he has recovered them from the hand of the enemy. And the Bible says he has made them kings and priests in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This was will build up the temples of the Lord. They will build up the name of the Lord. They will not put the name of the Lord to shame and their bodies will not be mutilated. Their, their destinies will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not settle for less. I want you to cry out and say, our children, they are the kings and the priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, this is your word, O oh God. we declare, oh God, that all the things that Jesus has received for us are the portion of our children. The Bible says Jesus received power and riches, wisdom, strength, honor glory and blessing where well, i want you to declare that these are the things that will be seen in the life in the lives of your children and i want you to command the abundance of favor over the lives of your children reject every evil say no to every wicked plan and open your mouth and say yes you know we've already declared that there will be an example to the believers uh, we say, we've said there will be an example to the believers in, in, in purity and all that, in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. And now we are saying because of that, they will carry power, they will carry true riches and wisdom, strength, and honor 
glory and blessing. Open your mouth and declare over your children. I'm declaring those things from the same Revelation 5 um, chapter, sorry, Revelation 5 verse 12. Father, we thank you, O God, as they become the example in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in faith, O God. Father, they will show forth the glory of your name. I Amen. I personally feel that Satan is just running a mock now, he's going crazy and he wants to branch children, you know, he wants to put his mark on children. But we're going to ask the Lord to put his own brand, you know, the true designer's brand upon our children. Let your children be branded by the Lord and let them carry the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every time Satan sees them, what they will hear is touch not in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to release a, the, the, a command of touch not my anointed upon your children. They are being branded by the Lord. The Lord is upon them. The mark of the Lord is upon them. The spirit of the Lord is in and on them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me just read to us quickly from Revelation 22. It says, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street and on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore 12 fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. So there's sufficiency for them every month of the year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not need to go to the camp of the enemy to look for anything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When they need jobs, jobs will come in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that they need for their own life and godliness, God has already provided and it will manifest at the right time in Jesus' name. So the Bible says in the middle of a street on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore 12 fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Our children will not be polluted and corrupted but because they're different nations. They will be the healing tree 
they will be the ones who will carry the presence of the balm of Gilead into these different nations in Jesus' name. They cannot be taken. They cannot be stolen in the name of Jesus Christ. It says, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads, branded by the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There shall be no night there, they need no lamp nor light of the sun, for the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. From now into eternity, we declare that our children are branded by the Lord, and they are kings and priests, and they will reign forever and ever in the mighty name of Jesus. The gods of this world who did not create them cannot have them. Can I ask you to unmute and declare this over your children? that the branding of the Lord will be upon them. They, they will know who they are in the name we have prayed i just want us to take a praise break so i'm going to share a testimony that came in in the early hours of today um one of us i don't think she's online this morning um she i mean she's been part of this prayer group i think shortly after we started and um it seemed as if our, our daughter's I had a daughter who wasn't getting married at the right time. She it seemed as if her, her, her marital destiny was being delayed. And last year she got married uh, exactly a year ago, but then she had a condition that made it look as if she, it was going to be a struggle to, to have children. And I've come to announce this morning that um, she's given birth to a lovely baby girl. Um, yesterday, the Lord did it for us, you know, no medication, nothing. She, she didn't even know she was pregnant. That's how mm. the Lord did for us. But it looked as if it was going to be a struggle because of a particular condition that she had. So I want us to just give thanks to the Lord. But before we do that, I want us to open to Psalm 105. Let's go to Psalm 105. It says, oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord at his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. I want us to bless the Lord this morning. It says, O seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones, is the Lord our rock. His judgments are all in the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations. I want us to bless the Lord. First of all, she didn't get married. 
it looked as if she wasn't getting married on time, you know, mm-hmm. and when the Lord brought her husband, the Lord did it, you know, in his own way. And now mm-hmm. she's just put to bed. This is God. I want mm-hmm. you to give him praise. Give him oh, praise. Please for mute and I have prayed. I want us to thank the Lord for the testimonies that have been shared and the ones that have not been shared. Because I know that God has been doing great and mighty things in our lives as we have been praying. So I want us to take a moment and just remember the things that the Lord has done. Many of you haven't shared your testimonies. Some of you have shared with me. And this is a brand new testimony that I've shared this morning. I want us to just open our mouths and thank the Lord. And then thank the Lord for the fact that he has sustained us. That really every Monday we get up and we pray. We get up and we pray. This is God at work. This is not any man's doing. This is the Lord. Let's just give him thanks. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, God, for thank every single thing. Thank you, Lord. We for our children, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord. Let him make of the Lord. say there is no weapon that you can In the name of Jesus, for you continue to be the we need to pray for all the testimonies that brother we have testimonies we have prayed and you know still in this attitude of attitude of praise and thanksgiving if there's anyone who has a situation that looks seemingly impossible. As I said earlier on, she was delayed and then it looked as if she was going to struggle to have kids because of a medical condition that she had and without any medication. And not that there was no full disclosure. She told the man who she was getting married to say, you know what, we're going to struggle a bit to have kids, but see what the Lord has done. (laughs) It's just a year that they got married this month. The baby has already arrived, you know. That is who God is. That is who God is, you know. And she put her trust in God. There was full disclosure. I know that she got married to a man who just, "Ah, let me just marry you because mm -mm, this is a man who loves and cares about her. So I see the hand of the Lord. So from this place where we are, as we're in this attitude of gratitude, I want someone who feels that "Ah, my situation is difficult. I want them to cry to the Lord using what is written in Psalm 106. Psalm 106 verse 4 says, remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have towards your people. Oh, visit me with your salvation. Visit me. 
You know, salvation means that God comes and, and he, he salvages our lives from ruin. He salvages damaged things. He turns around the seemingly irredeemable situations. So I want you to cry out, whoever you are. And he says that I may do what? That I may see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may bring glory with your inheritance. I want you, that I may glory with your inheritance. I want you to cry out and say, Lord, remember me. Remember me. Remember me, O oh Lord. With the favor of the Lord. Pray, amen. Now I want you to issue a command in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to command your children using what is written in Isaiah 60. I just hope that you've got your Bible, Isaiah 61 to 3, and specifically the Amplified Bible, the classic edition. It says, arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. It is time for our children to rise to a new life, especially the ones that the enemy think that is going to hold down forever. They're going to rise to a new life. And God says, listen, rise to a new life. And then he commands them to shine. It says, be radiant with the glory of the Lord for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. If the Bible continues to say, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and dense darkness all peoples, but the Lord shall arise upon you. Put your children's names there and his glory shall be seen on you and nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Command your children to arise and shine. Father, Lord, I command my children. Heavenly Father, it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nazareth, it is in the mighty name of In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. from every now depression. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. where you life in Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Glory heavenly Father, let us praise you for the Lord's portion of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they shall arise now. In the name of Jesus Christ, they shall arise to a new life. In the mighty name of Jesus, they shall shine and be radiant with the glory of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will be in my heart as come. In the name of Jesus Christ, and your glory is a reason upon the mighty name of the Lord. The devil is an all good. The Lord shall rise upon my children. The Lord shall rise upon my son. The Lord shall rise upon my family. The mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth shall be through me. Just name. We have prayed. We have one minute left. Father, Jesus name. We have prayed. We have only one minute left. And in that one minute, I want us to quickly go to Isaiah sixty-four, verse four. It says, "For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen any God besides you." who acts for the one who waits for you. You are going to say, Lord, I'm asking you to act for my children. Speak to the Lord, say you will not manipulate anything. Uh, you will not do whatever the Lord has not told you to do concerning your children. You are asking the Lord to take absolute control and to act for them. Act on their behalf, oh God. That is our cry this morning. Father, we hand them over to you, God, according to your word from the beginning of the day. Heavenly world. Father, it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray in this morning. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name. God Our eyes not any God You can be our only God. The one it's one the mighty we have run out of time so i'm just going to close in prayers father we just want to thank you we thank you oh god for what you have done we thank you oh god for how you've blessed that family oh god we thank you for what you started last year and how the baby has arrived oh god without any human intervention we give you praise oh god father this morning we thank you for everything that you have done so far on this platform. We give you praise. We worship you. We're coming back this morning to say, Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we've just handed over our children to you, oh God. And we're standing on your word that says, you act for those who wait upon you. Father, Lord, we will lift up your name over the lives of our children. And we say, Lord God Almighty, lead them, oh God. Guide them, feed them, surround them, oh God. Make them all that you have created them to be. We worship you this morning. And we say, Lord, thank you so much that truly you are a dependable God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, everyone, for praying this morning. Let's continue to pray for our children. Have a wonderful week. The Lord is blessed. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.